everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today is another episode of Nailed It. Today we're gonna to be doing a look inspired by Danessa Myrick, so if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so as I said in my intro, today is another episode of Nailed It. I'm really excited and also nervous, as usual, uh, for the Nailed It series. We always come up with these great looks that, you know, the makeup artists that do them just look amazing and the models are amazing. And then I try to recreate it or at least be, you know, inspired by it. And I'm always like, yeah, <laughs> it's not, not quite right. Um, but it, it is a, a really fun challenge. It's, it's great to be creative. It's amazing to be part of such a talented group of people. All the people that will participate in this week's Nailed It will be down in my description box. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this is a look um, created by Danessa Myricks. I actually don't know if I'm looking at this on my phone, if Danessa actually did this look, if it's just her makeup. I think she did um, because it's on her page uh, on Instagram. And the, the look, as you can see, I mean, first of all, the model is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, just incredibly beautiful. I, actually, I love her jewelry, I wish I had jewelry like that. Anyway, uh, I pulled my hair up to get my hair out of my face so we could really focus on the look. I tried to do my brows similarly to hers. I mean, not quite, but you know, trying to go with that effort. Um, so I believe that the products used were all Danessa Myricks products. I don't actually have that many Danessa Meyer products right now. However, the other day on Sephora when they launched, I did buy quite a few. So those will be coming soon and I'll, I'll do a full face. In the meantime though, we'll use what we have um, and try to be inspired by this look. It's a deceptively simple look. Um, there's foundation, there's obviously highlighters. Um, she has her color fix products on the eyes it's plum wine and rocket believe it or not i actually own rocket which i didn't know i did until a couple days ago um but that's the only foil i own um there's a color fix in clear glaze which i think is on the eyes to like make it look even more shiny um and then the light work highlighting palette uh halo powder in heat and angel wings i have the um i do have the light work highlighting palette actually, and as you can see, still in this box. Um, so I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use the Rocket, and everything else is just gonna kinda be winging it, <laughs> as I usually do. All right, so let me bring you in a little bit and we'll get started. So for those of you not familiar with the Nailed It series, maybe this is the first Nailed It series you've ever seen, we basically, there's a bunch of different content creators that come in and out of the collaboration, and it was started by Lexi Zhang, and we basically pick an image that we're inspired by or that we want to try to emulate or copy or whatever. And we kind of throw back and force some ideas. And we decided on this particular look, not only because it's beautiful, but because Danessa Myricks was launching at Sephora and that's a really big deal. And we wanted to celebrate that. So we thought this would be good timing. So, at, when you look at this look, the thing that, that jumps out to me is the glow, the dewiness of the look. And Danessa Myricks, when you look at her work, a, a lot of it is very, um, it's infused with glow, it's beautiful. My skin does not glow. <laughs> my skin's very dry. I don't think it's ever glowed in its life. So what I have on my face right now is just moisturizer, did I put anything else? Moisturizer. I did my, my skin routine. No, just moisturizer. So to try to get more of that glow, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put down the um, Guerlain, but I'm gonna take the Lit Up Highlight Stick from Westman Atelier and put that on my skin after I do this. This is the watery oil. Um, I can't find my stick, my Westman Atelier stick in Lit. Uh, lit would be perfect. Lit is the uh, clear one that has kind of like a, 
Uh, it almost has like a holographic kind of look to it. That would have been perfect, but I can't find it for the life of me. Um, I don't know what I did with it. I don't know if I gave it to someone. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I thought about using that same one from Chanel because I have the pearl one from Chanel. The problem is the pearl one from Chanel just does not dry down, like, ever. <laughs> so I'm going to use the nectar and we'll see what happens. So we're going to take the nectar. If you haven't seen nectar before, just put it all over my hand. It's not like super, it doesn't have a ton of pigment in it. So I don't think it's gonna be that much of a problem. Like I think if it was the brulee, which I did buy the other day, I think it would be more of a problem, but I think we'll be okay. Cause it's, it's pretty light. I'm just gonna use that as like a primer This might go horribly wrong, guys. I mean, <laughs> that's the great thing about this Nailed It series. Like, it, it could go terribly wrong. Because I'm just trying it out, so who knows? Okay. Well, I look glowy. I look pink, but I look glowy. My skin is really irritated today. I don't know, guys. Like, there's like the rosacea, you can see it, um, is much more pronounced than it, it often is, especially around my nose. Um, I think it's because, <laughs> I think it's because I bought uh, a new bed. Uh, I think I mentioned that. And I'm very allergic to dust, like very allergic. I get allergy shots now once a month because I've been working up towards it for years, but I'm really allergic to dust. And so in moving the old bed, they took it out yesterday and they just brought the new bed. And so there was a ton of dust under the bed. You can hear it. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna use the uh, Clodopo. This is the foundation. I practically never use this and I'm not sure I've ever used it on camera before. Um, the reason I don't is this is like kind of reserved for the super dry months. And now don't get me wrong, we're in February. Well, now we're, yeah, we're still in February when this goes up. So. Um, I get like this is the super dry months, but it actually hasn't been too bad here, strangely enough in Massachusetts. Um, it's been, it's been dry, but it hasn't been terrible. Like in comparison, like I lived in Colorado for a long time and um, it's so dry there. Like my skin <laughs> did not do well. So that kind of dryness is what I'm talking about. My skin, that's what I wear. When it gets that dry, I wear the, the, the foundation. I've worn it a couple times this year, but not often. I actually don't um, have like a perfect color match in the foundation. It's a little too deep for me, not much, but, um, but the like other shade that they had just didn't look good on me. It was like too, I don't know. It just, it washed me out completely which I thought was worse. So, but I think you'll, you'll see it's pretty good. So if you have super dry skin and I mean really dry skin, do not buy this if you don't because you will not like it. Um, this is a great foundation for you. It's basically like moisturizer. I mean, it's not even, it's not even foundation. I mean, it is, but I'll show you like on my hand, it's, See how thick it is? You saw it when I put it on my face. Like it's just, you know, super, super thick, super moisturizing. Um, it's a beautiful foundation. It's actually one of my favorite foundations. I love this foundation. It's very expensive, um, of course, of course. But no, I think it's a great foundation. I just, uh, like I said, I, it's, it's like a moisturizer. I mean, it's just, it's super, super thick and very, very moisturizing. If your skin is at all oily, it's a non-starter because it just is so emollient. It does have a slight scent, nothing terrible, but there is a scent there. Okay, I look pretty dewy. That's good, that's a good sign. I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the foundation. 
I don't think it's the foundation alone because I don't think I've ever looked this dewy. So I think it's the nectar underneath, but I kind of like it. Kind of looks nice. It's sticky. <laughs> it's definitely tacky guys. Let's focus on the eyes. And we'll get to the highlight and stuff when this like sinks in a little bit. Um, so it looks to me. All right. So the, the color fix is all over the eyes. Like I got that. And then maybe the glaze was over it. Probably. I don't have a glaze, but I could take like the nectar and just put it over the eye once it dries down. All right, so let me show you, if you're not familiar with the Color Fix products, they come in this little squeezy tube. And there's a lot in here, guys. So you don't need a lot of this. I'll put like the tiniest amount, like a dot, and I'll show you how much that really is. Now, the other thing I would say is this is the foil. This is the, um, the metallics, foils, mattes in the color fix. Um, you can see it's got like a foiled look to it. It's so funny that I have rocket. I don't even know why. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got it. I don't know when I got it. I do remember like a year ago, I, I've been interested in Danessa Myrick's beauty for a long time. And I do remember seeing it on Beautylish and I was like, oh, there were certain shades that I wanted and they were sold out. And so I didn't buy it, but then obviously I did buy something because I have these and... Okay, so I've waited, we've been chatting and you'll see, it's not completely dry yet, but... Okay, so it dries pretty fast. Um, and see if I go over it with a micro towel, <laughs> it's basically, it's there. So that's the thing. It, it goes on pretty quick um, and it's gonna dry down. So I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I just think that's a better way to do this because otherwise I think I'm gonna feel like I have to race back and forth. So I'm gonna put it on with my finger and then I'm gonna go in with the Chantecaille. This is the shade and sweep brush and kind of like move it around a little, but I'll put it on my um, eye like, like that, and then just kind of work it in quickly. Because I can always add more, but what I can't do is get it off. Not easily anyway, without like, you know, removing it entirely. Wow, that dried down super fast. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just kind of sweeping above just a little bit. Yeah, that dries like super fast. Super fast. So it should stay on like all day. All right, let's put a little bit more on each eye, like the tiniest amount. I'm just gonna pat that in like on the eyelid because I don't think I need. What do we think guys? Isn't that amazing? I picked up um, Another foil, I think, and a metallic and a glaze at Sephora. But I feel like I should pick up more because that, I mean, that's one color. I mean, look at that. That is literally like one and done. And it, you know, once you get a hang of it, the thing that I would say about it is you just need to work with it quickly. 
it's not something you can really blend out once it's been on your eye. And I'm doing this one real time, so it's not like I've cut, you know, so, um, yeah, that, it's like, it's down. You're not moving it now. Huh. The, it's definitely foiled. Like the way that reflects is amazing. Okay. All right, so that is the first step. My finger is now stained purple. That's okay, I'll we'll clean that later. Um, okay, my face feels a little less, feels a little less tacky. It still looks good, it looks like dewy, which is kind of what I was hoping for. All right, so let's take a look at the picture again. She doesn't have a lot, she doesn't look like she has liner on and she has like the tiniest amount of mascara, so we'll get to that in a minute. We'll do the lips fast, last. Um, all right, so like I said, I have the, the highlighting, pa whoa, palette. That's what it looks like. I obviously swatched it, just <laughs> don't remember using it. Um, all right, so I think I could use something like Easy Breezy, which is like the gold or Common Sense, which is like the lighter gold. Piece of Cake is the pink, rose gold, it's pretty beautiful. Um, smooth Sailing is peach. Like da is the white. Look at how. And then no problem. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, okay. I want to use them all. Um, I'm going to use, I actually think I'm going to use piece of cake because I think Obviously she has a very different skin tone and undertone than I do. She's warmer, but I think this is a cool look overall. At least I'm gonna adapt it that way. So I think I'm gonna use the piece of cake as the highlighter. I'm gonna use this um, on the eyes and in the inner corner a little bit. Um, and then I might try to bring in like another one of these peach. I think this is gonna be a little too deep for this look. If I was trying to do something else, I could use it, but I think this look, the face is pretty, it's highlighty, it's glowy, but it's not really contoured. Let's use the Chikahoto Z series. Um, this is the cheek highlight brush. I'm gonna go into piece of cake. I mean, I already look, I think, pretty glowy for me, I mean. Not very glowy for, you know, a lot of people, but for me. And I'm actually gonna put like this into the hollow underneath my eye and all over here to kind of create that like dewy look. Oh, that actually works. Look at that. Wow, that's, that's, Okay, uh, let me buff it out a little bit. Nothing on it, just, all right, so I wanna contour a little, just a little bit, so that the face shape, you know, fits this a little bit more. I'm gonna use the um, Westman Atelier Biscuit, and I'm just gonna use my fingers. Yeah, that's good, I'm not looking for like a tremendous amount of color, really. I just want a little bit of contour for the face, but definitely have glowy going on. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the Shade and Sweep brush. I'm gonna go into Like Da, that really white shade, and I'm just going to go over the eye look really lightly with it, and then like bring it up a little bit into the brow bone. Now, I don't think she's done that on hers, but I think for me, I need like a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
like brightness that brings it up a little bit. Okay, wow. It's the dewiest I've ever looked in my entire life. All right, mascara. Let's put some mascara on. I don't think she has, a, like I said, I don't think she has liner on. I don't think she has, I don't see liner. And I see like light mascara. So let me, let me curl my lashes and then we'll come back and we'll do the mascara. Let's use the Fenty Beauty mascara. I haven't used this one in a while and I should full frontal because eventually all these mascaras will go bad and I will have to get rid of them. This isn't a bad mascara. It's just not like a favorite of mine, but I should, you know, try to use different ones in my drawer because like I said, they go bad and once they're bad, once they're gone, the brush is a unique idea. Like it's kind of like elongated, like a football almost, but it just, I don't know if it's the formula. It's like I said, it's not bad. It's just not one of my favorites. Mascara, like all things, you know, it's a very personal, like the taste is very different. Like there are certain mascaras that I, you know, really, really like and people, some of my friends are like, why? I don't understand. So, you know, you gotta mess around with ones and, and see which ones are your favorite and which ones work for you. Um, I think there are some that work for most people, but like people, I remember people always talking about the Lancome mascaras. And to be honest with you, I never liked them. I just never my thing, um, but you know, they were huge. There was a certain time that like, that was like the mascara and I tried it and I was like, I hate this. So I mean, you know, who knows? You ever notice that you open your mouth? Or do, maybe I'm the only one who does that, but I open my mouth like super wide while I'm putting my mascara on. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm like, <laughs> like, okay, what are you doing? Why do you look like a fish? But I do it every time. I can't stop myself. So, all right. So yeah, I think that works because this to me, it looks like she has a lighter, shouldn't it look like she has a ton of mascara on? There's definitely mascara there, but it's, you know, a light look. All right. Okay, so I look dewy, I think. I look glowy. Uh, I am gonna finish it off with meteorites, by the way, guys. So get really, really glowy. Um, so let's, in fact, let's do the meteorites before I do the lip because I don't wanna get it in the lip. Hold on one second. I'm gonna use Pearl Glow. This is from the new collection. Love the smell, love the smell. The thing I really like about the meteorites is that it's, it, it is a powder. So it does, it does buff, like when, you, when I buff it in like that, it does take off like the extra like tackiness or, or whatever you might feel. I don't have that happen very often, but, um, but then it, it imbues your skin with the um, luminescence that you want, but without like making you look shiny. Like not that I've ever looked shiny in my life, but you get the point. Okay. So, um, lips. Now I don't have the exact shade obviously that she's using. And frankly, it wouldn't look good on me. It's too deep for my skin tone. So we're going to do a play on that though. First, we're going to take the Chantecaille lip liner in tone. That's what it looks like. For me, it's a pretty neutral pink beige. Okay, so we have the lips lined. Then we're gonna take the lipstick. And the lipstick that I chose is the Chanel 137 Pourpre Dior. I know, I know guys, I try. And it's a deeper shade. It's a much deeper shade than I usually wear. Um, but it, it, it's, in, it's in the same vein as what I think she's wearing. It's definitely cool. It's got more of that purple undertone. Um, and I think it will give me close to the kind of look I'm going for. It's a beautiful shade. It really is. It's very pretty. Um, I don't wear it very often because it's just, it's just not me. Like I don't really wear deep lipsticks a lot. Um, 
partially because I have a tendency to get them everywhere, but I do really like it. I think it's very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna find a gloss that I can put over that to make it a little bit glossier like hers. Okay, so I think that worked. Um, this is a Scott Barnes gloss in uh, gold flake. It's kind of like a clear, very shiny gloss, um, which I think you can see. So the only thing I think I didn't do, so I'm gonna rectify that now, I think she has a little bit of the purple um, underneath her eye. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put the shade on my hand, the color fix on my hand, and I'm gonna take a Refer 03 brush, dip it in there, and then just run that on my lower lash line a little bit. Again, you wanna do it quickly because it's not gonna stay wet. And I'm not complaining about that. I mean, if you put down like a liquid cream shadow and it doesn't dry down, that's worse. <laughs> because you're gonna have it, you know, everywhere by the end of the day. This is not moving. I mean, this is gonna stay on you um, kind of no matter what, which is great. I have, as I've mentioned, as na ad nauseum, I have very dry skin, so it's not as much of a problem for me, but um, I do know people who have complained about various, like, cream shadows that just, you know, move all over their eyelid and crease throughout the day. I, I don't know if this one does, We're, we'll find out, but um, I, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna move much, especially on my dry skin. I'm pretty sure this is here to stay. All right, I'll bring you in close. And we'll take a look at it next to the picture. Okay, here we go. I'm very happy with the way it worked out. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I admit I wouldn't <laughs> wear this much like shiny lipsticks. I know it's gonna get everywhere in about five seconds. Um, but the eye look I would wear absolutely uh there's no question i would wear this. this is stunning and the the dewiness of my skin it still feels a tiny bit tacky but nothing crazy i think the nectar underneath i think that looks really nice and that's something that i would do in the future actually the highlighters that i used from the lightwork palette that's i mean they're very impressive I'm gonna definitely play around with those. I can't believe this has been sitting in my drawer. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Looks really pretty. Look at that highlight. And then the meteorites, I just used it because I wanted to sort of powder it down a little bit um, because she has, I mean, she has perfectly smooth skin. So I just wanted to smooth it a little, which I think the meteorites did. Okay guys, this is the final look. I really like it. I think the eyes look beautiful. Like I said, the lips are a little deep for me. It's just not really my thing, but that's okay. Um, I think it it was what I was going for. So it, it, it I did what I wanted to do, which was the point. Um, my skin looks really glowy. Uh, it's a little too glowy for me and I probably wouldn't wear my, like I wouldn't go out this glowy, but for the look today that I wanted to capture, I wanted to do that because I wanted to kind of mimic Danessa Myrick's, like when her when you use her products, you get that kind of glow. So I think I think I at least achieved what I was trying to do. Yeah, I really like it. It'll be interesting to see how it wears. I'll let you know if I have any creasing or anything with the um, with the color fix. I'm gonna doubt it because I just don't really have that because my eyelids are so dry. But you know, you never know. So. The lip gloss will be gone in about five seconds. <laughs> gloss, I did, it doesn't stay, like it just doesn't. I'll get it all over a shirt, yeah, it's the way it goes. So if you came over from one of the other content creators, channels, thanks so much for tuning in and seeing how I did this look this week. I really do appreciate it. And if this is the first time you've watched one of the Nailed It series, there are you know a whole bunch of videos that we've done. Uh, go back and, and check out some former ones. As I said, Lexi Jean came up with the idea. It's, it's a great way to, to be a little creative, go outside your comfort zone, try new things. I, I greatly appreciate Lexi letting me be part of this really creative environment. It's great. 
So thanks everyone for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.